Welcome to Depression to Expression, everyone. My name is Scott. This month is going to be fun. This month is going to be challenging. This month is going to suck. Um, to be honest, I'm not really filled with, uh, you know, extreme euphoria and happiness right now. Although it may seem that way. Um, because I, this is the first day of the zero carb diet. And I'm going to go through in this video what I'm not eating, what I'm going to be eating for the next 30 days. And this is for obviously mental health. So uh, stay tuned. If you haven't watched the videos with Michaela Peterson, I did two interviews. Uh, please check those out. The links will pop up somewhere here. All right. Um, you know, there's been some incredible stories I've read with people who are on the ketogenic diet, which is basically just meat and veggies, no grains, no dairy, um, like zero carb. And Michaela, yeah, I get it. It's on the extreme end, extreme end of um, of this, <laughs> of the uh, zero carb diet, and that's meat only. And with in Michaela's case, it's beef only. And I'm not going that extreme for this 30 days. I'm going to um, experiment with just a zero carb diet because listen, this channel, it's all about doing everything in your power, trying everything to help with symptoms of anxiety, depression, look towards, you know, look for a cause of why you're feeling a certain way. And, you know, when it comes to diet, uh, we don't really look too hard at that sometimes. We're more interested in kind of the psychology and we, we look for medication as well and sometimes quick fixes, which I did as well. Um, but I've never taken a really deep look at my diet. I quit coffee for, you know, years i never drank it then i did a 90 day no coffee challenge uh, i'm not a huge you know eater of um consumer sorry of, of refined sugars okay but i do i haven't drank milk in a while but you know dairy cheeses um cream cheese uh things like that and also grains i do eat a lot of bread and pastas so i've never tried to eliminate that i've never looked into it so and i see these testimonials of people who feel so much better when eliminating those things from their diet, eliminating grains, eliminating uh, uh, fruits, and eliminating um, dairy especially. So why not give it a shot? Why not give it a shot? What do I honestly have to lose? I'm gonna be dead in like 80 years, so may as well try something, figure it out, right? Um, yeah, so here's, here's what's gonna happen. Here's, I, I worked with Michaela to figure out, you know, what she did, and I know that when, when we're talking about treatments, you don't want to make comparisons. You don't want to do that. Um, but in this case, um, she's been a great resource and a great help to me. So she's given me some, some pointers and advice as to what to start with for this 30 days and then reintroduce things after and see what happens to the body. See how I react. Okay. So here's the list. Some, some uh, fonts going to pop up here. Here's what I'm going to be eating for the next 90 days, or 30 days, sorry. And I have it in the microwave right now. So, sweet potatoes, parsnips, turnip, cilantro, broccoli, cauliflower, lettuce, spinach, carrots, cucumbers, apples, only some when I have a sugar craving, and same as honey, chicken, beef, salmon, trout, tuna, coconut, apple cider vinegar, olive oil, rosemary, turmeric, basil, thyme, pepper, salt, and that's it. <laughs> um, that's it. So originally, I made my own list of what I thought would be fine for the zero carb I put on. Oh, did I say tomatoes? Tomatoes are okay. Any other things that I uh, miss here? Bacon, no, because of uh, just nitrates and things. But again, that's something I'm going to reintroduce later. Um, no rice, no quinoa, no couscous, no pickles, no sauces because they all have added sugar. Um, no nuts, no oranges, no bananas, um, no legumes, no sausages, no hot dogs. And uh, that's about it. No beans, like uh, chickpeas, anything like that. Kidney beans, none of that. Um, and that's about it. Boom. So in my freezer, I'll, I'll show you in a second. 
in my freezer I have just a lot of meats. Not that much. I have to do a big shop. And I might buy a quarter of a cow or split it with Michaela. Um, but that's what's going on. So that's, that's what I'm going to be eating, that whole list I just showed you. And I'm going to show you how I feel. I'm going to vlog every single day. Of, I'm going to show you a few things. I'm going to have a mood scale, basically like 1 to 10, how I'm feeling. Um, am, am I feeling a little angry and on edge because I probably am going to have some carb withdrawal? Carb withdrawal. That's one thing. I'm going to talk about sleep quality, how I'm sleeping. A, without the coffee, we'll see what happens. And B, just with the carbs and sugars, we'll see if my sleep quality improves. Also, my gums constantly bleed and I do floss all the time and I have pretty good dental hygiene. But we're going to see if, because uh, again, that really helped with Jordan Peterson with his um, gums. So that's one thing I'm going to track as well as bags under the eyes. Um, going to check that as well as, and of course, uh, energy levels. So scale from one to 10, how's my energy? And last but not least, um, going to see brain fog. A witness, kind of be a witness to brain fog, see how I'm feeling, attention span, focus. I know these things are extremely hard to measure and this is going to be completely personal and this is no, you know, this isn't an official uh, scientific study, but it's a scientific study on myself and I know how I feel and I know, you know, what feels good, what feels bad, what's going to feel off, what a craving feels like. So I'm going to let you all know and let you in on this uh, 30 day challenge. Now, of course, there's going to be regular vlogs every day but also um, regular content also going to be coming out, mental health-wise, music reactions, all that good, fun stuff. So please join me. If you're going to be doing a no-carb uh, diet with me for 30 days and want to test it out for your mental health, which I would highly recommend, why not? Even if you just want to cut out dairy and kind of hang in there with me, and um, even if it's cutting something out, you know, let's do it together. Now is maybe the time. Um, where we can do this together, you can follow me and you can comment, see how you're doing, and I can comment back, and we can kind of have a have a dialogue that way to see how we're all doing. Um, you know, if it's something, maybe you want to cut coffee, maybe you want to try quitting smoking for 30 days, uh, maybe you want to decrease the amount you smoke or or something like that, right? Uh, get rid of refined sugars for a month and see how you feel. Maybe then now is the time to do it, so we can do it together. Now I just want to show you real quick kind of a vlog camera. I'm getting a new camera by the way, but uh, here's kind of just the freezer. I picked up some meats. So we got, we got uh, what's this called? Uh, chicken drumsticks. We got a bunch of sliced chicken breast, chicken breast, chicken breast, a couple steaks, lots of ground beef, um, chicken as well, ice cubes. Won't be having the fruit here, frozen fruit, but frozen veggies, obviously. We got peas here. We got the night mask for uh, the bags under the eyes, or sorry, the morning mask. And yes, my freezer is gross, I'm sorry. Uh, leftover chicken, blueberries, don't need those, can't eat that. Cucumbers, okay, lettuce is okay. Uh, tomatoes, okay, pickles, no. Ginger is okay. Uh, all these sauces are a no-no. Coke Zero and Perrier's, no-no. Uh, lime, that's a no-no. And beer is a no-no. So, <laughs> a lot of no-nos in the fridge, but, um, you know, I'll, uh, I'll keep you all up to date, and I hope you enjoy the vlogs every single day, just the updates, and um, please comment, please let me know if you're going to be joining. Stay strong, keep being you, and don't forget to subscribe if you're new, and want to follow um, the, uh, the progress of the zero-carb diet. I'm a, I'm a little scared. <laughs>